All right, folks. And I've got a great portrait for you now. I've started the ball rolling because this takes quite a long time. Uh, I've used the white all over. Then I've blended it with the blender. Like that. And then, or now, should I say, I'm using the pink. 132. I'll finish this off and then we can bring other colours into play. There you go. There's a lovely base colour there. Now we've got to bring other tones in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use um, 131 because we've got the light hitting on the side. Okay, it, the light's coming basically from that side. So over here we need some depth. Now let's start building this up. A little bit of pink. And the hairline, it's a little darker, so we need to make sure that we've got a, a nice strong colour in there. It's quite light over here, but once again, we, we, because we're going to be doing the hair later, so we'll need some depth. So it's always a good idea. Put a little bit of pink in there. And there's another colour, which uh, is... is really important and that's ivory and ivory can come in with the pink to just to make it just sort of look a little bit less harsh and then ivory can go again all over and that can be blended See how nicely that works with that lovely base colour we've got. And now the ivory, you can just see that influence in here. And let's just add some more. You see, you, you, I hope you can pick it up on the screen now. You can see that ivory on there creating a, a lovely creamy tone. to darken the hairline a little bit so I'm, I'm going to use the 169 here now I'm going to be very careful with this this is a really strong colour but it will work really well to give us this strength it won't make a lot of sense until later on when I develop the hair Now the other thing I've got over here, I've got to make that a little stronger, and I want to use one six nine, but I can't use it yet. It's too strong. It's too um, soon. So let me just bring in a little bit more of the one three one, and then the surprising colour, the one two three three grey, and we'll be using quite a lot of grey. And having put that in, you can then put the little bit of the 169 in as well. And we'll blend that. See how that goes out. Let's do this. You see that shadow we've got is really good. We may have to deepen it a little bit once we get the hair in. That is where this is going to make a difference. Lovely. Now we have a nice shadow. Now we also need, there's very subtle contours here. 
Now we need to do the same thing here, but uh, it's not very strong, so we've got to be a little bit more mindful that we we can't be too strong with this, otherwise we'll end up with a much stronger tone than we, we, we need. I don't think we necessarily need, maybe just a little spot of grey in there. That's about it. You can always add more, but it would be rather difficult to take it away. Now you see how that's working now. We're just beginning to get a little bit of shape to the face. Right, and now we've got to find yet another colour. I'm not really quite sure. Normally I go for ochre on this, but um, let's have a look. at There's another colour that I have here, one, and this is um, 189. Uh, let's have a look at 189. The 189 is more peachy, very similar in tone to the 131, but it's a little more peachy. So I'm hoping that this will give us yet another tone. It's all experimental. Whenever you're starting off, that's why I say always start off with one small area. You learn as you go along. And it's not really until we get to the features now we've got to put a colour in. So I think what I'll do is I'll break off a minute because I, I'm tempted to use a 187 and I haven't got it out. So let me get let me break off for a minute and I'll be back. Right, I've used, got the 187 and I've used it there and it works. So let's uh, continue with a little bit of this. Once again, you don't want a lot of it. And the other colour I've used is uh, 182. Just a little that. Let's see how that looks. And you see it's much more natural now. Stops the pink from being too pink. I like that. Okay. So there's the there's the colour tones we're going to be using. Doesn't mean to say we don't go back in, like for instance the white here is a little bit more obvious, particularly where we have a shadow on under the hair. I got to use the white to bring back just a little bit more brightness. That's lovely. Same perhaps here. You can always return to this too. It doesn't mean to say you have to stick to what you've done. You can add more. But that is a lovely colour. So there's my tone for the rest of the face. Which means we've got to bring it down now. Um, this is a time when we can get rid of some of the graphite. I want to get rid of it all. I want to see where that's got to be. I mean, the, I'm going to use a dark colour so it would go over the top of that. But I think it's always a wise just to remove some of it. It can interfere with the pastel. There you go. So I'm going to be doing this all, all over. So let me just do a little bit for you. And then I'll break off and we can... Uh, you could, I'll do it in little stages as I usually do do a little bit more here, simply because this is again quite a lot of shadow here. In, it. in fact, I'll do the whole of this area for you. Now that graphite there is quite important to have because I'm going to make it quite dark. That line there. Great, so next is the 132. We blend that. And 
three one. I think we will play with the colours as well. This is one eight seven. A good idea to just to use a combination of tones and one eight two. I would probably recommend you do what I'm doing, just a little bit at a time. Don't try doing too large an area. Then now I think um, yes, I'll stick to this. I was just tempted to change colour shapers but maybe it's a good idea to stay with the one we have and that's quite strong but you probably know what I'm going to do I'm going to use a white pencil now to bring back the light we want to leave it just over the crease there and then as you come down here ease it off and then on there light again okay so that's what I'm going to be doing uh, and again here you could use the same color shaper which I've used before that's the ivory but I'm going to use this one which is a little softer and being pointed it gives you just a little bit more definition okay now I'll do that I'll use the same pencil ranges as I move across here the only difference is when I come down to this side I'll be bringing in to play the grey and the not that one the 169 on top of what I've showed you and I'm also going to develop this depth now it's quite dark so I've used 169 on it and we need just a little bit of one three more one three one you've got to be very subtle with this there's a, a dark eyelash coming over here so we don't have to worry too much about that but one three one right on the edge and then that can spread a little bit here into there and that's got it got what I wanted there in here I've used a touch of one eight seven and just a little spot of one eight two these are only just touches <coughs> and they go into the pink that you've got uh, that's going to have to be lined up in a minute there but what I wanted was that tone then we can bring the white back just for the moment like that now we've got to put the eye brow in and I think it's a good idea to do it now I'm going to use 189 here what I'm doing is having to put an under under color on I can't use white and I can't use any of the other tones it's got to be a compatible color to the color which I'm going to put on top which is going to be 169 and for the first time we're going to use a brown now let's just bring that in it looks silly at the moment but it won't do and right on the very edge of that I'm going to put 131 now that will make more sense when I finish I can come out a little bit because I can bring the white back in to it. I can just about see the graphite line that I've got there. That's why I didn't want to get rid of it altogether. And that's been a little bit of white in there. Just to lift the eyebrow just a bit. Like that. Okay, now what colour do we put in? Well, we put in 169 as I said. That would be the first colour now. We've got to treat this as though we, we're doing hair. Well, we are, of course, folks, aren't we? And we've got to treat it like that. And you work in the direction that 
through C, we see the eyebrow. Now, it's down to there, and stops, and then there we are. Now we need to darken that a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna. I think I better use. I think I'll use the 181 on this. Now that might seem a, a weird choice, but I think I'd rather that than I would to use foreign colours like a brown. Now that looks all right. Now do we blend it? Well, we do, but we've got to be careful. What I would suggest you do here is you just like stipple it. Don't try blending, otherwise we're going to lose the effect we have. We want it to look like an eyebrow, not a caterpillar crawling over the face. No, I think that's all right. Now just put just a little bit of blending just underneath. You, what you can do is pull some of the colour from the edges or from that edge. Can't do it at the top. What we can put in is just a spot or two of that 131. Oh, I bet you're thinking, oh, I'm not going to have to do that. No, you don't have to, but it's fun. Portrait work is great fun. See that? Just pull it. This is why I'm using the pointed colour shaper here. If you overdo it, you can always bring it back. But I don't necessarily think I have that. I think that looks good. Okay, just a little bit of... And some of that colour can actually be transferred to there. Now, that's, that's clever, folks, isn't it? Now, you've seen me do this before. A few times. Good. So there's one done. Now I've got to do the other side. So when we come over across across here, we've got the nose to worry about. Now here I've got graphite on the nose. Is it going to make a difference? Well, it might do. Let me just let's get rid of some of it. That's it. What we don't want to do is to mix it with the white uh, just there on the nose. It's really strong. So we make it strong. I'm not going to do the nose yet at the bottom, but I just want to get to the other side. nice and strong here but when you get over here we have this shadow again now I'll do this and then I'll break off because it's a long job and I can show you little bits as we go along and you'll, you'll pick it all up but you'll, you'll see it in stages You'll be working from my picture. I'm having to adapt a picture, another picture, photograph, but you'll be working from my picture, so everything you see me do, you'll be able to do. Now, I've used ivory too in here. And the other colour I've used, is, which I've introduced, is a grey, and well, I'll show you that in a moment. And you'll see me doing it, using it over there anyway. There's the bridge. Um, yes, the grey. This is um, 230. <coughs> I, I very often put 230 in skin tones. I put it in here. <coughs> you can't always see it when you start off, but as you proceed, you can. That looks good. And then we need now the 131. Then 
Um, mm. I'll break off then because it's a, this has taken a long time to do. But you get the idea of that. Then blend it. It's not as deep as this in here. There you go. We can bring the, the white back, just a little bit of white back in there. I'll show you as much as I possibly can as we proceed through the face, but I think you get the idea of um, where I'm coming from. So let me do it in little stages without narration. I'll, I'll come back in if uh, I need to show you something, but uh, or tell you something. But generally speaking, I shall work through all the way through that the the whole of the skin. I won't touch the eyes and uh, the the eyes and the mouth, and I'll probably leave the nose, uh, the bulk of the nose, to show you that too. So let me proceed. Now I've got a really good idea of what I'm doing here. I can now complete the face tones. Now I'm starting, I've started by putting white all over, but there are concentrations of white. So this time we'll go back over it again and put those concentrations in. And you'll be amazed that you'll be able to see the face emerge. And here it's very strong here and here and here. to say follow my picture where you have the strongest concentration of light everywhere else will have the lighter application that means when the ivory the gray and pink goes on it will show up okay I'll continue with that now before all that dust disappears use the color shaper to blend it in. Now you can see it still blends it here but this is where we've got the shadows coming in. So as I say you should in a moment or two see the face emerge. Very very subtle changes of tone. There you go. And then you can follow that with the pinks, the ivory, the grey, which you'll see me do. 
but you can see the face now. So where we have the, it's probably best to start off with areas that we haven't put the white quite so concentrated, like down here, for instance. Put the pink, and again here. I put pink in, and then follow it with the ivory, grey. It's much, much easier to start seeing the face emerge because we've got all the colours, and I love the tone that we have here, another, another area there. I'll just do a little bit more, and then I'll, because there's quite a lot of work involved, even on this. Just along this edge, there's a very slight shadow right down here. And just a little here. You see? You see how it's working? And then, as I said, you'll see me in a moment. I'll be bringing in the other colour. I've already started up here. And you can see how that's producing. So it's the, these colours here. You, know, you should know them by now. The pink, the uh, little bit of 131. Although the 131 is more concentrated on this side now, rather than on this side, because this is where the light is. Uh, so it's those colours. And, um, and then the 169 is the darkening agent. We'll use that quite a lot through the nose. One thing you could do with the nose, if you use the... I haven't got rid of the graphite here, but what I've done is... You, or I'm doing is putting the 169 in. Um, that's where the nostrils are. So by putting them in, you now have again, you have another reference point. Leave the lips all together. Forget the beauty spot. Again, I've made sure that I can see through the uh, pastel for that. So, let me carry on now, just as I have done before, and start developing the facial features.
Right, we're getting there now. I've just got to make it a little bit more depth on this side of the nose now. Otherwise it won't make sense. That's 233 three and 131. One. Same colour we used on that side. Continues from here. Colour shaper. You always got to overdo it very slightly because you then bring it back with the lighter colours. Like this star here, this is where, and the white is the key. See? It's almost magical, isn't it, when you look at that? And there's also some light coming from here. Now, right at that very tip of the nose, just here, we have some strong white, like that. And that then is back here. Now, there's, it's back here, and it runs all the way up to there. And it's the graduation either side of it that is the key here, using the white as your blender. You see how the nose is now beginning to stand away. So we've got this little button nose here, which is now pretty obvious. In that we'll just use the white just very, very lightly, just to bring just a little bit of light back over that side. It broadens the tip of the nose, that's what it does. Same here. Now this has got to be also reduced. You see how delicate it is. And it's quite light here, so you've got a light where the light's playing on the nose, but we can't make it too light because we won't get the bulbous effect. That's coming along really well. Okay. And just here, a bit of strong white. Well, we're getting there now. Now you, you saw that I'm using 131 and 233. And the idea is to get a strength here that we can use later on against the neck which is going to be lighter. Now let's use the kind of shaper. And we drag that into the skin. We might as well come all the way back up here now. We need to lighten it again, but you can see how this is now beginning 
to work. And follow that round. It's too strong, but we'll bring it back again with our lighter colours. But one of the advantages, and I'll show you in a minute, we have when we use this is we can then drag that colour and use it in places. It's a really pretty tone, isn't it? But we've got some very subtle shades. You see this this hasn't been done yet at all, so we need to work on that. And let's just put this in. As I say, miles too strong. But <laughs> It's going to work well for us a little later on. Now, just to give you an idea of how that's all going to pan out, let me just show you. And if you put we, this, this will be again. This will be very light. The neck here, and that will go against that. Now, down here, we've also got, it, but it's not as light over here because this is in shadow. So. Let's just do this too. Now there's also a shape we have to think about and we can do that using the light around the neck. On the neck, sorry, for the, for the chin. There's very, very slight protrusion there. Now I've, I've got it there. Now I say that's going to be darkened up. but. What it does do, it gives you, or gives me the the depth. I know now. I know how much, how strong to make that. So let's let's just move. Let's just do this. We've got to, we've got to shade this really now before we can. I want to perhaps use the other one really. That uh, kind of shaper. This is a little stronger than the pointed one, and it's also obviously thicker, so we get a, a better overall tone. Now you see that's how that's working out. See the subtle shading we have in here. Okay, now this is this is very light, so let's come back in with the white. Now what we've got to do with the white is we've got to really punch that home. Let's just use my other one. Sometimes you find different whites have got a slightly different feel to them. That's better. Now it's, as I say, it's very light round here. And that then can be dragged onto the very edge of that depth. You see? Now we can shape that too very subtly by bringing in the white and now my touch on this is very light so I'm just putting just a little bit of pastel and you can see it beginning to fade until we get to there and then that is strong now if we then use our other colours, like the ivory for instance here, some of this colour and just place it. Look, now I hope you can pick this up on the screen. Just a little bit in here. And there's some more. There. Now you could 
say to me, oh, surely, Colin, you can put more colour on. I can. And I can do it. But I can't get the subtlety I can by using this way. Now that is really lovely. There's just a little bit more that I've got, I've got to... I've got to strengthen it just a touch more before we put the, well, the lips on. It's just a little more there. And there's a... And here's the grey. That's the 131. One. And that's the grey. And extends it just a little bit there then we can use the white there just as we did with the nose to bring about that lovely white strength it's a little bit more here of, um, lovely I think we've more or less got that bang to rights now so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into the eyes that's the next thing I'm going to be doing so let me just start the ball rolling it doesn't mean to say I've finished completely but we can bring it back later a little bit of light in the eye there and then we want the white of the eye Now these eyes are just closed a little. okay that is miles too light but I'm not going to worry at the moment about it now I'm going to put some grey on uh, in the inside of the eye this young lady's got blue eyes but we can't put blue on you have to put grey on to start with and then I want to put the grey 233 on or in the pupil. They won't be as distinct as this when I finish, but you, you've got to start off with detail and then just a little depth. there on the outside edge great um, <clears throat> now straight in now with two double three creating the shading and as I said to you when I was doing this it, it stands out she's got long really really attractive eyelashes not just there but also here Let's do the other side.
I brought you nice and close now for I'll just do one eye because it's going to take me a long time and the other one is the same colours used so, now what I'm using now and normally I reach for 181 on this but I'm using very dark blue uh, that, what is it? 157 folks yeah of course it is now I'm also, also going to use this here too because the idea is to try to create I'm obviously going to be using black in here on top of this but I want to create a really pretty tone and 157 will now just a little bit at the bottom don't know what. you can of course when you do anything like this use your own license so there we are now I in because we've got that in there I can now put in a little grey in the eye and into that we want the blue that's 233 and now the blue and the blue I'm going to be using is uh, 149 It's going to be a lot darker than this, folks, when I've finished. And whatever you do, take your time on something like this. It's really important. Okay, now I want to also suggest a little green. Now I don't want to put green in the eye, but if I put just a little spot of ochre, you see how that gives us that sort of greenish look? Great, so now next job is to use the black to darken the pupil off. seven again this time we're using it to darken the eye if you're wondering whether the white is also going to be darkened and the answer is yes it is What I'm going to use now, and you've got to be really careful here, you've got to use, I'm going to use my pointed colour shaper, because what I want to do is to blend that ever so carefully, so that we lose any sparkle that we have in the eye. Great. Well, that's so far so good. And um, now we want to use... Um, I'm going to use the black now for the mascara around. Now, needless to say, you need sharp pencils for this. going to come as far as that but we'll need to work on this a little bit later on but you see already it's looking quite magnificent and this is going to have to have some shading underneath it and that does, doesn't go all the way along though it just sort of stops there right now we've got plenty of colour in it so let's look at putting some tones in a little bit of ivory is always a good idea in the eye and then followed by a pink 
Uh, I think what I'll use here is 189. Now, gotta be careful, I don't want to bring too much of that dark colour back in, but we need some of it. And the same one for here. You see, by, by just dragging just a little bit of that, you get that shadow. And then just a little in the corner. Great. Now back to the black. This time we can be just a little bit more bold. this pink. It's almost like putting it half on the black and half on the... I think you'll agree that looks pretty good. And while we're, while we're here, we also got to bring, do the same thing here, bring back some of the colour or drag some of the colour from the eye which you just put in and put some shadow in, like that. Okay, now I'm just going to put just a, the merest hint of ochre in here because it's just ever so slightly ochre -y. And then back in with the white, nice sharp white, if I can find one. <clears throat> well, I think this is the sharpest I've got. To really just work your colours in so that we get a really nice fused eye. We don't want anything that's going to be too pronounced. So we got a little bit of this and a little bit of that. A little bit more blue now. And the pupil, I think we'll just make that just a little darker. There we are. Now that's uh, pretty outstanding, and <coughs> just, um, it's not quite finished. I've, what I've got, I'll have to do is to just to darken, just put a little bit more colour on this part of the eye. It's quite dark. And then we can suggest the. I think that's all. I don't want to put too. I don't want to put too many eyelashes in. But I think I'll agree that that looks um, pretty stunning. Okay. Now all I do, folks, is the other one. I just make it a little bit more blend. That looks good to me. So I've got that one to do. When I finish that, we'll look at them both and then I'll decide whether I want to put and do any more.